young lady. So here we go, all right? How we're gonna begin, how we will begin today, for anyone that's got a birthday, gonna celebrate with a nice bend, a nice fold. So we're gonna kip hinge right down, right down. As we go down, we're gonna be breathing in through the nose, making sure that our back is nice and neutral and straight. Got the lower spine nicely curved in as per normal. You're gonna go down as far as you can. You're gonna to get to a point where you can't go down no more without having to flex your knees or round your back. I'd like you to do that because I'd like you to make contact with the floor with your fingers. And then I'd like you to walk the floor with your fingers. And then I'd like your fingers to go flat so that you've got your palms on the floor. And now your palms on the floor, I'd like you to then collapse your knee. As you collapse your knee, you're gonna be in the tabletop. You're gonna stretch your hands out and then you're gonna push the ground away and you're gonna sit back with your hips to go towards your heels. And then what you're gonna do is release one hand, whichever hand that you wish. And then I want you to cross it over the other hand. So your two little fingers are next to each other. And then you're gonna lean into the arm that is gonna allow you to transfer the weight closer to the floor. And the arm is gonna collapse so that your elbow's on the floor. And you're leaning into that collapsed arm, stretching the outer lats on both sides. The arm that is crossed over the hand, you want it stretched out, you want to push it away, sit back on your heels and get a nice deep lat stretch. We're then gonna come up and we're gonna center our hands. As we center our hands, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. We're gonna go in together for four. You're gonna hold the breath for four. And then you're gonna push the ground away for five and then sit back on your heels. Three, two, one. We're gonna hold the breath for four. And then we're gonna breathe in for four. And as we breathe in, we're gonna cross the other hand over so that the two little fingers are again next to each other. Hold the breath for four. And then as we breathe out for six, you're gonna collapse the elbow that you're gonna lean into. And then you're gonna hold the breath for four. And then you're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna recenter. Hold the breath. As you hold the breath, I want you to push the ground away, dig your toes into the ground, and then allow that air to escape for six and sit back into your hips. Hold the breath for four. And then we're gonna get back into the tabletop. As we get back into the tabletop, digging our toes into the ground, create that stability. We're gonna raise our knees from the floor temporarily. Then we're gonna straighten the legs out. And however you feel comfortable, you're gonna get yourself into the inverted V, which is the downward facing dog. I want you to relax your neck, just drop your head down. Try to bring your heels to the floor. Take the pressure off your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders. And then what I'd like you to do is then flex one of your knees. As you flex one of the knees, you'll find yourself tipping to one side, stretching the hamstring, the glute, the calf on the extended stabilized leg. Then we're gonna swap rolls. You're gonna shift the weight over. So the bent leg is now the straight leg and the straight leg is now the bent leg. Opening up the hips, pulsing it. And then we're gonna go back to the downward facing dog. You're gonna walk your hands towards your feet and your Fingers are gonna be on the floor, placed on the floor, 
And right now, just taking a moment, going to try and control the breathing, get back being present with the breath, so we can create a nice balance with the flow. So being in this position, you might find a little bit of rush to the head, a bit of a stretch on the hamstring, and what we're going to try and do is just calm it. So we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. The nose, we will take four seconds, and we go in now, four. And then we hold the breath for four. And then we let the air go for four. Hold the breath for four. And then now we take a deep breath in for four. Try and just slowly come down a little bit lower, fold it. Hold the breath for four. And then take a deep breath out for four. As we take the deep breath out, see if we can just stretch a little bit more. So if your fingers are on the floor, you want your palms going towards the floor, hold the breath for four. And then we take a deep breath in for four. Still in that stretch, holding the breath for four. And then allowing the breath to come out for four. Holding the breath for four. And final time, just getting a nice, real deep opening. We're going for four. Hold four. Breathe out for four. Hold the breath for four. And then we're going to slowly make our way up by sliding the fingers up on top of the foot. Slide the fingers up, up the shin, over the knee, feeling those muscles reset, recalibrate, tighten up, open up. You're now standing straight. Release your hands away from you in a reverse semicircle motion. Go right up to the top, right up to the top. A little supine stretch. Stand how you feel comfortable, whether that's just natural stance, wider stance. We're gonna grab the back of the elbow, any elbow that you wish, and you're gonna pull the elbow down, really giving that tricep, upper lat, where the armpit, where the armpit crosses, and then you're gonna tilt to one side, and we're gonna go into a side bend. As we go right down into the side bend, what you'll find is a nice opening on the rib cage, on the obliques, on the hips, and on the other side, you can feel a nice stabilizing tightness. So what we're going to do now is just find ourselves up to the center, raise the hands up. As we raise the hands up, they're going to come down in a semicircle motion either side of our body. They're going to come right down and they're not going to stop. What you're going to do is just cradle your hands to the elbows as your hip hinges and you're going to find yourself leveled up with the floor. So we're bent over now. Your chest is level to the floor. Underneath your chest, you're gonna find your hands holding each other's elbows and you're cradling your arms. What I would like to do is be present with your breath. So we're gonna take a deep breath in for five seconds and we're going now, five. Hold the breath for five. And then I'd like you to let it go for eight. As you let it go, just drop your midsection down, hip hinge all the way down. Four, three, two, one. Just hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. And then I want you to transfer the weight. So you're gonna tilt over, transfer the weight to one side. So what you've got now is your leg right in the center of your crossed arm just behind it so you're bent over 
and you've transferred your weight by the tilt of your body and I want you to take a nice deep breath for five seconds and then allow the air to go out for five seconds as you let the air come out your belly your chest is going to go flat on your thigh take another deep breath for five and then allow the air to go out for five I want you to release your hands grab your ankle or grab your toe and then what I want you to do is either have a nice firm grip on your ankle or pull your toes up as you take a deep breath in for five and then allow the breath to come out and then grip your leg or pull your toes and you're bringing yourself closer into your body opening up your lower back, hips, hamstring, glute, calf and just feel that body open its tightness and then what we're going to do is then raise ourselves right up slide your hands up your thigh right to the tippy top get that blood rush circulated around the body take a nice couple of deep breaths in as we take the deep breaths in you're going to raise your arms up and you're going to grab the other elbow and you're going to pull the elbow down so you stretch stretching your triceps and there's going to be a nice crossover from the triceps towards the lats via the armpit and we're going to side bend side bend opening up the lats rib cage midsection obliques hips and then we're going to feel the other side become more responsible more tight opening that tightness feeling that resolve and we're going to come to the center take a deep breath in extend the arms out allow the arms to come down either side of your body really controlling those levers and then once again what we're going to do is cradle the arms via your hands grasping your elbows and then you're gonna lean down. You're gonna find a little bit more flexibility now. So you're gonna go down as low as you feel comfortable to go low, stretching all of what you stretched before and feeling that opening, feeling your body just realize the greatness of the flex. Be present with the breath. We're gonna take a deep breath in for five seconds. We're going to allow the air to escape for five and then we're going to transfer the weight so that we've got the leg behind the arms right in the center of those crossed arms take a deep breath in for five allow the air to go out for five feel yourself just drop down and then we're going to release the hands and grab either the ankle or the toes take a deep breath in for five Allow the air to escape for five and grab that ankle, apply pressure on it or lift the toes up and bring your body into your body. Get that nice deep fold. Take a deep breath in for five. Feel that belly on the thigh. Let the air go. And then what we're going to do is release and you're then going to transfer the weight back into the center Place your palms on the floor. Place your palms on the floor. Really get a good deep stretch. And then sit in that squat position. Sit in that squat position. As we sit in the squat, what we're gonna do is release one hand. Release one hand and allow one arm to be flush to the leg. And then we're gonna twist our body over. So we go into the squat, T, hip, opener really stretch that out opening up the adductor hips chest clavicle lats just feeling the body become tight and become open simultaneously open tightness we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose and we're going to find our hands back 
flat, both flat on the floor. You're gonna release the arm that was stabilizing you and you're gonna rotate your body round, go into the squat, T, hip opener, really stretching it all out, feeling that body just circulate, lubricate and waken. Take a deep breath in through the nose and find your hands back placed in their original spot. Slide the hands out, slide the hands out, and we put the knees back onto the floor. And we're gonna slide the hands up towards the knee, slide the hands up towards the thigh, towards the hips, standing straight, kneeling down, being straight, releasing the hands all the way up, leaning back, allowing the arms to come down either side of the body, either side of the body. And then what we're gonna do is raise one knee up and put the foot right in front of you. And then what I would like to do is put your hand on the top of your knee, the one that's in front of you. And then I want you to tilt forward stretching the trailing quadricep where the hip flexor joins in and it'll be a good time now to start thinking of your word the word that's gonna give you the identification the notification to take your day forward and make it into that word. Whatever that word represents, that is how you're gonna act for the rest of your day. So for you, it's birthday, so you're gonna act in a celebratory manner, all the way. And what we're gonna do now is just return back. So put your hand beside the foot, slide the foot back, and then slide the trailing leg Bring it up front, so you've now got your foot right next to your hands that are now next to each other. You're gonna raise your upper body up. You're gonna put your hands on the top of the knee, the opposing leg now, and you're gonna tilt forward, getting a nice deep hip flexor, quadricep stretch. Try to place the foot in front of you flat, so your heel is flat, so you're getting a nice Achilles stretch, calf stretch. Feeling it in the glutes. And after three, two, one, you're gonna place your hands right next to that foot. Slide the foot back, so you're now back into the tabletop. Dig your toes into the ground. Elevate your knees. Temporarily go into the downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Slide your hands up the top of your foot. Slide the fingers up the shin, over the knee, top of the thigh, and then release the thigh, reverse semicircle, go right to the top, supine stretch, great time to think about that word, opening yourself up to the world, saying good morning to not only the world, but your body, and how you will make a difference today in your world. Give you five seconds to drop your arms, drop your shoulders, settle, transfer the weight from the top of the head right down to the low part of your body, settling it, cementing it, releasing it. Taking this moment and thanking you.